Okay, we had re-soldered one of the filters back in place. It looks like from the initial drop it had cracked some of the solder on that also. I mean the crack wasn't too serious because it was holding for a while. But finally once the system was played a little bit more after the HDMI port was fixed, the cracks in the solder became more evident as electricity was passed through them. But now that they're all soldered back in place correctly, let's double check our connections, make sure that all the solder points are good. Under initial inspection, I thought there was a problem between here and here. But nope, all good again. And check between here and here. And we'll go back and check the rest of the filters just to make sure there is no initial problems after some solder work was done in this area. Also, I like to check the filters across each other to make sure they didn't short internally. Now, once we finish checking these, we'll keep our fingers crossed and the white light of death will be gone, hopefully permanently this time. Okay, those all check good. And we'll check diagonal across each filter. And these are HDMI filters. They filter out all the different colors in the HDMI. But if one of them doesn't have a connection, you get no signal because it's just extra static, basically, that isn't filtered or whatever. I don't know exactly perfectly how the HDMI circuit works, but I know that these four bad boys all have to be working perfectly. Or you don't get a signal at all. But all our connections are good, so now let's check to see if we no longer have a white light of death. 